learning objectives include what constitutes cellular immunity and how T cells protect the body from antigens that originate endogenously in the body. What are APCs and what are MHC molecules? Now, if you look at the origin of these cells, the cells of the immune response or immunity, there is a stem cell that give rise to B cells and also T cells. B cell go to, they remain in the bone marrow for their development until they mature and then they migrate to various lymphoid organs like lymph nodes, spleens, and T cells migrate from the stem cells, which basically is in the bone marrow. They originate in the bone marrow, and then they go for their development and maturity into a body structure called thymus, where they differentiate, they mature into T cells, and then these T cells also migrate to lymphoid organs like lymph nodes and spleens and etc. The property of T cell is that they are MHC restricted. MHC basically is called major histocompatibility complex. These are glycoproteins in nature, and these molecules are displayed onto the surface of these various cells. There are two classes of MHC molecules, MHC class 1 and class 2. They recognize antigen. This is the property of T cell, that they recognize antigens only when antigen is associated with MHC molecule. So in other words, these T cells are MHC restricted in terms of recognition of an antigen. In other words, they do not attach to free antigen. As we saw that B lymphocytes, they can bind free antigens or antigenic epitopes, but T cells cannot. So this is the difference uh, in their personalities that you should remember. The T cells would never bind a free antigen. It will bind only when the antigen is associated with the MSC class 1 molecule or class 2 molecule. These structures, two uh, cells, one of them is a T cells, the other is a B cell. Uh, as you can see that B cell can bind, this is a freely lying or circulating antigen or antigenic epitopes, one of this epitope would bind to this lymphocyte, and this lymphocyte, as a result, would take that fragment, that antigen, into the cell, would degrade that epitope into still smaller fragments, and one of those fragments, which is we call antigenic epitope, would be bound to a structure called MHC class 2 here uh, on the lymphocytes. And that associated with MHC class 2 and displayed onto the surface is then bound by a structure called TCR, T cell receptor, which is present on the T cells. And this union, as a result, would trigger production of cytokine from this T cells which would stimulate this B cell to make more antibodies, or good quality antibodies. MHC molecules, as I mentioned, there are two types. One is called MHC class 1 and MHC class 2. MHC class 1 are present on all nucleated cells of the body, while MHC class 2 are restricted to APCs. APCs means antigen-presenting cells. And there are three cells or cell populations that we call them APCs. One of them is a dendritic cell. This is a form of dendritic cell. And the other is a macrophage, like here. You could see this is a big macrophage here, which is attached or attracting or attaching to uh, these bacteria, which basically are antigens. And then there is another cell called B cell. B cell is also able to present antigen. So these three cells are professional antigen-presenting cells, APCs. In other words, these are three cells that are responsible for making antibodies or inducing antibodies or presenting antigen to B cells uh, for making antibodies. Please don't get confused um, that this B cell 
is involved in lymphos in antibody production but it is also involved in presenting the antigen because when antigen binds onto the antibodies that antigen basically is taken up by the cell degraded into smaller molecules and associated with MHC class 2 molecules. As I mentioned that APCs are the only cells that have MHC class 2 molecules and they present those antigens to T helper cells and T helper cells as a result would induce cytokines, a set of cytokines, not just one cytokine and all those cytokines would make uh, these B lymphocytes good cells so that they could produce quality antibodies. T cells, uh, there are three different kinds of T cells. One is called, basically two kinds. One is T helper cells, and the other is T cytotoxic cells. But if you look closely, T helper cells, they uh, are further subdivided into two parts. One is T helper 1, and the other one is T helper 2. Both have a specific molecule on their surface called CD4 molecule. So both are CD4 positive. This cell uh, is T cytotoxic cell. It has a molecule called CD8 uh, on their surface, which distinguishes them from these helper cells. And as I mentioned, helper cells help other cells by secreting cytokines. This cell is directly cytotoxic. It will kill the cell that has been infected uh, by a virus or any bacteria that has gone inside the cell and is replicating there. Uh, this is very important to uh, remember that antibody molecules cannot chase an organism that has um, gone into the cell. Like uh, when infection happens, the bacteria or the organisms, microorganisms we acquire from the environment, they go into the body, they cross the barriers, first line of defense, second line of defense, and third line of defense, which basically are antibodies. And if they evade or avoid them and succeed in getting to the cell, antibodies are not able to chase that virus or that organism that has gone inside the cell. But these T cytotoxic cells are able to kill, able to bind that uh, virus infected cell, for example, or cell that is harboring the antigen inside, not accessible to antibodies, and destroy that cell. This is a virus infected cell. As you can see that the virus is replicating inside the cell, making different proteins, and these proteins are processed by the cell, by the virally infected cell, and these fragments are displayed onto the surface of the cell through MHC class one molecules. And these processed antigen structures or processed fragment of the virus would be shown to a T cell here. This is the T cell. Uh, this is the processed antigen with which has been associated with class 1, MHC class 1 molecule, and ultimately it binds through these TCRs, T-cell receptors, which basically this binding tells this lymphocyte to, to secrete a signal that kills this virally infected cell. So if the cell is killed, we know that the virus would also be released and would be killed. And that released virus from this infected uh, cell after the death of the cell would be then destroyed by antibodies because it becomes accessible. Here, this is a CTL, cytotoxic T lymphocyte. CTL is also known as cytotoxic T lymphocyte. This kills this virally infected cells and when releasing all these viruses outside. But once they're outside, antibodies can take care of them. So in summary, uh, T cells are responsible for cellular immunity and they can eliminate those endogenous, endogenously uh, developing, endogenously means that they are developing inside the cells, and they can destroy those cells that are harboring the antigen, which is not accessible to the antibodies. And APCs are MHC class two uh, cells. These are the only three uh, cells uh, macrophages, dendritic cells, and B lymphocytes that have the ability 
to present the antigen along with the MHC class 2 molecules and create immunity in the body, antibodies.